Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to Sneaky Trends. Before we start, remember to like this video and subscribe with notifications on. With that being said, let's get into it. Okay, and up first tonight, we watch an anti-mask wearing Karen get approached and confronted by a store employee because she is not wearing her mask. The store employee approached her and reminded her that she needs to be wearing a mask to enter the store and tells her that she needs to be following the mandatory mask rules just like everybody else. Karen obviously disagrees with the employee and pulls the medical exemption card, but this employee isn't having it. Let's play the clip and check it out. This is a business to refuse to serve people who are not willing to abide by our health. And who told you that? My boss. And your boss, is is your boss with the Wisconsin State Assembly or in the government? No, they are not. But as a private business, we have the right to conduct ourselves in the way you decide to do. Well, I have, a, I have a lung condition, so I'd like to purchase these and then I will leave. I understand that. Can you pull your mask up on your nose? Until people like this realize that they're doing illegal activity and this is radiation from the 5G towers. It's radiation, ladies. Well, I'm trying to save lives. What are you trying to do? People? No, I'm trying to run my business and keep my customers safe. Please believe. Keep making your money while you keep people. Your mind control slaves. Slaves. Yep, you'll be doing the peace sign when you realize. Do your research on 5G. Slaves. Goodbye, have fun at the shop. Okay, and up next tonight, a Trump supporting Karen aggressively approaches a couple who were parked outside of her house while they were just pulling up the GPS on their mobile phones. Karen warns them that if anything happens to her house, there will be consequences. Let's take a look. His name, excuse his me, registration, and everything else. If anything happens to my house, you're done. Okay, have you're a nice done. day, ma'am. Go f me, yourself, please, you little 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 please no, you, alone. leave you I alone. I will call the police. Go ahead and call them. I don't give a rat's. <laughs> So leave. Leave. Where leave. do you live? Go right to your house? We live in Babylon. Yeah, I'm sure you don't. Okay. okay. I'm sure That's you don't. That's none of your business anyway. Have a nice day, don't man. Don't f*** with your f***ing neighbors. Excuse freedom me. Of speech. Yes. Leave. 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 Okay, leave. tough guy. Leave. Have Okay, and up next tonight, we jump right into the middle of one of the most heated public freakouts ever. A man was approached in a store by other customers who had reminded him that he needs to be wearing a mask. The old male Karen immediately loses his mind and has a psychotic meltdown. Making threats and numerous insults, the customers are left in shock. Let's play the clip and take a look. What's your name? I never knew how good a country was till you people moved here. Because Canadians are the nicest people in the world. Yeah. And your belief system is not better than our laws. You got that, buddy? You're nice, yeah. You're so oh, nice. Police, believe what you want to believe. What's your name, though? I'm out of here. My name, my name is the white man, Bingo. Okay. <laughs> Stupid. And up next, a man accidentally swings his door open and leaves a big dent in the car that is parked next to him. Instead of doing the right thing and swapping insurance information with the victim, the man proceeds to call the police on him. This is absolutely wild and we just had to feature it, so let's take a look. I, I, just, I just want your insurance information so I can go well, about my I'm day. Just saying, they're asking me. I, tell them that I asked for your insurance information and you called the cops. So instead of giving me his insurance information uh -oh. for denting my car, he calls the cops. Yeah, no, he just wants a, you're going to be asked to just exchange the insurance, insurance information. Yeah, because you hit my door. Did you tell him that you hit my door and left damage on my car? And you thought you'd call the cops? 
Okay, and up next, we jump into the middle of a heated customer versus employee moment. This cashier decided to go on an irate rant after the customer spoke to her in Spanish. The cashier goes on to admit that she is drunk and tells the customer that she does not care about her job because she is quitting soon anyways. So let's take a look. And I think that's great. Great. Good. You know what? Yeah. Thank you. Are you happy about that? Yes, I am. Wow, congratulations. You know what? I plan on quitting anyways. Quit? Quit. And it doesn't make no difference to you because you have your senata, you have your money, you can yeah. do whatever the f you want, yeah. right? But, because uh, you're not you know a United States citizen of I the am, United States. I was born here. Well, show me. I don't have to bring my yeah, certificate. Well, so do no, I? no, I don't. Well, no, I don't either. I was born oh, here. Well, I how was do you born prove and it? raised here because I was Come born on, here. Prove it to me. You know what? Prove it to me. You I can what? prove it to you because I, am not I gonna, have my. You're an elderly it. lady. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm young. And finally tonight, this next woman is in a wheelchair and booked her a flight ticket with American Airlines. Because of her being in a wheelchair, she required assistance from a flight attendant so that she could board the plane. She never received any assistance and the plane took off without her. Now we watch on as she confronts American Airlines staff for their terrible customer service. Let's take a look. But no, Jessica, I've never talked to you. So being that I have a spinal fusion and I'm in the wheelchair and my flight that I missed thanks to your agent is at 8.48 a.m., I'm gonna need a hotel room. I'd also like to know where my $300 laptop bag is. I would also like to know to finish my complaint with the American Airlines flight attendant who just busted my eardrum that I just filed the complaint about for the flight that I also just got off the phone when I was out there. So, now, what else do I need to talk about? The fact that this is the third flight that I missed on account of y'all. So in addition to getting my refund for these three flights, I also want my flight, I don't even want to fly with y'all to Tokyo no more, and I'm gonna delete that flight, but it's all good, I'm gonna handle that. But for right now, I just need to get a hotel, because again, I live in LA, I'm from Indianapolis, and not to be brand new, I'm not gonna sleep in a, okay, well then, that's fine. I'm gonna go get a hotel. Okay. Thank you, Jessica. I'm going to go get uh -huh. a hotel. You now cancel your flight. I'm going to go get a hotel. Thank you. Are you ain't flying tonight because that's against the law and I'm going to call the What's against the law? You know call the police. I can do whatever I want to no, do. Cannot. I can. Right, I have a master's in communication. Tomorrow. All the then movies you, you watching, speak. all the movies you watching, I do the PR for it, Jessica. Okay. So you probably want to calm down and pipe down and go take you some meth because you look like a meth head. That's why you mad because you can't get off of work and smoke your drugs. Excuse me, children. I can record whatever I want. I got a master's. I know the law, bitch. You a clerk. You probably don't even know how to spell Google backwards with your teeth crossed. Who are you talking to? So disrespectful. So, I'm going to send this to the president of American Airlines and all the board of directors. Jessica, since this lady in a spinal fusion ain't going to get no help, Jessica, Call the police, Jessica, so they can arrest a black woman over recording, Jessica, with your white privilege. Jessica, your fat ass. Now call the police. I'm about to call the police, actually. And that is all we have time for tonight, guys. Thank you for watching another episode of Sneaky Trends. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe with notifications on, too. With that being said, thanks again for watching and catch you in the next one.